Hey everybody, it's Shug here. Let's take a look today at the Emok Dramor ultralight hammock that has chair recline mode. Very different hammock. Can't wait to get it out in the woods again because I've had so much fun just shooting this video and being in it again. I forgot the love I had for it. Let's embrace it. Let's look at this. Chair recline mode. Stupendous. One of the big pros of this hammock, for sure. Just doing myself a little reclining, a little relaxing here in the Amok Drummer. XL, meaning extra long though they have a regular size, a little shorter than the XL. And this is the UL, the ultralight version. I realized I haven't shown this. I did a video a couple of weeks ago about being a YouTube celebrity, and several people asked about the hammock I was in, and I realized I haven't filmed any of my Amok Dramor hammocks for a very long time. I really enjoy this hammock. It's, it's different, it's a whole different beast. What I'm gonna do is cover a few of the questions I've gotten over the years on this hammock like the pads. It is a pad dependent hammock. I mean you have to have a pad in it for structure and you need a pad where the baffles run head to toe not shoulder to shoulder. That's number one. But you can boost it by putting a foam pad in here. You could put a thicker winter pad. Amok sells some uh, winter light pads. They're ultra light winter pad or the regular like I have right here. Let me wet me whistle. I use this hammock a lot more for coming back here in the backyard, stringing it up, and making phone calls or just hanging out in it. And, you know, and it works for camp. If we're having a little breakfast in the hammock or whatever, I can sit right here. I've got my little table. I can sit right here, have my coffee, use my stove. I can reach down, get to the ground while I'm in it. And this piece that sticks up at the end right here, your foot box, if you just want that out of the way, you just take out your little pole, stash that, and you don't have to have that big piece of fabric right here up in your way. But if you want to put it back in, easy enough, there's a little pocket here, and then you just slip it in like that. And this is for when you're in sleep mode. It keeps everything from falling out of the hammock down there, kind of your, your foot pocket. You do end up getting some crumbs and things in there for getting in and out of this thing. But what I do is I'll just fold it under, brush everything out, bring it back up. When you get in, if you're getting inside saddle, just keep your feet on the ground for a second. Or just put them down in chair mode, and that'll keep you from swinging. I enjoy the swinging of the hammock back and forth when I get in for a while. I will let that happen. This time I'm gonna get in by the straddle, and you just grab these side panels right here and slip it up under you, and then I can release and I can rock out a while. One thing I'm gonna do is link the Amok website below this video. I'm gonna link some videos there. You can go there. They have information that I won't cover. Uh, this fabric right here is called Armor Light. It's very ultra light. It's kind of nice because it's see-through. That's why this particular hammock is so much lighter than their regular Amok Dramor. But for the ultra light or people that just like a light and comfortable hammock, this one is packed smaller. It's so much lighter. The pad is lighter. The tarp is lighter. Right now I have the tarp just dangling behind me to keep the sun out of your eyes. Here it is. The Drummer Ultralight XL. So you can see the size. Pretty, uh, pretty small crammed down. 
And these are the optional poles that you can buy to hold the ends up. They say these are optional, I say they're a must. Those would be 47.5 grams or 1.68 ounces. Yeah, trying to put a stick in and everything, I've done that for years to hold the foot end and the uh, head end open. These fit perfectly and do not pop out. Now if we put them all together with the little poles on, that's 33.84 ounces, two pounds 1.8 ounces 959.5 grams and here is the Amok fuel ultralight XL pad the R value is 3.5 I think that's like 28 degrees water bottle is about that big I have 28.92 and as far as grams go 820 0.5 grams and here is the skilled 10 ultralight multi tarp and here is this next to a water bottle now we will look at the skilled tarp and what we have is 19.21 but that is with the stakes in there and that would be 544.5 grams just sitting at it hanging out like this with some back support. Really my favorite part of this hammock. I just kind of muscle them in. So if I'm back like this, I lean forward, pull them up. One of the really great things about this hammock is if you take it out on the trail, and a true hammocker knows that tree spacing in the perfect place is not always, it doesn't always happen. There's stuff growing between trees. Sometimes you get places the trees are too close or they're too far and you're going, I'm in a forest, why can't I find the trees that are, you know, 15 feet apart, 13 feet apart, 17 feet apart. This hammock does not take the wide tree spacing that a gathered in hammock takes where you're laying and you're looking at the tree and the other tree is behind you. And this, you're sideways. The trees are off to the sides you know, I have a wider space here, but really you just need to go to the ends of the suspension right here. You just don't need trees that are as wide, and that's a that's really something different about this hammock, and it's a plus. I will tell you this about this hammock, though. There is a little bit of a learning curve. It takes a little bit of practice, like most things, like, like hammocks in general. You might struggle a little bit in the very beginning, but just keep trying a couple times. I have faith in you. You will get it. All right, let's look at the structure. As I was showing earlier when I was sitting there having coffee, this is kind of your foot box. And as we look down toward the foot, that's going to catch everything. That's going to keep your sleeping bag and you from sliding out. Also, when you're in recline mode, this is a uh, denier fabric. It's tough, so it's fine if it touches the ground. Now, I do get, I'm not taking my shoes on and off, so I do get a little bit of crud in here. And like I showed earlier, all you got to do is take the pole out and just take this. Just fold it down, shake your crud out. It's kind of like cleaning the floor of a tent. And you have a little pocket right there that that goes in, and you have a little pocket right here. And these are the perfect fit and don't pop out until you want them to be out. But the basic design is you sort of have two layers of the fabric here. You have the layer that goes up. I would say this is the main layer right here. It's going to go up to where your sides are. That's your bug net stored away. This is your suspension with lighter hardware on here. Uh, they've added this, this little rubber sleeve. That is a... Oh, that's kind of their drip stopper. So if, you know, if rain, if you fear rain coming down here, anyway, it's going to hit this and drip off. But that's your ultimate protection. And you know, another way, if you're worried about rain, just put a couple of twists in your suspension as you hang it. And as the water runs down, it'll, it'll, fall, it'll fall off these twists. That'll take care of 99% of your water. And then it'll hit there, your rainwater drip down. It might even follow this down. Another nice little feature is there's Velcro on everything. So if you're one of those people that likes things tidy and not dangling, and when you pack it away, you like it all done, you can just Use that Velcro. I could roll that all the way up and Velcro it. 
but I'm way too lazy for that. You have storage pockets in here for phones and things. This is your water bottle pocket right there. That'll hold an algae bottle, another storage one there. And like they say, this is the stuff sack that the Amok, the Amok Dromore goes into. And that, now one of their newer features is you can just clip that onto this one little clip they have right here. And you put your sweater, your shirt, that's my... Uh, that's my sack for my pad is in there. So you can cram some stuff in there for storage as well. It's really cool as I'm out here this morning. You might hear the sound of a loon in the background. We call it Larry the Lonesome Loon. There's always this one loon that hangs out in our lake all summer. And Larry is back and Larry is down there doing his loon cry this morning. And it makes sitting here in this hammock, this Amok Dromor, Norwegian made hammock, Quite a pleasure this morning filming this to show you what this is about. And this right here, these are the straps that sort of take care of the lower part of this hammock. Right now I have them cinched up tight and what happens with that is it, when I sit in here in chair mode, it pulls these up so I'm able to fold my legs down for sitting. And what I mean by that is I have them pulled in tight now and that makes it a lot easier to drop your legs down and you know put the foot in on the ground to stop it from rocking or to kind of balance yourself as you take a drink of water you know reach down get something off the ground so one thing you have to consider is how high you want to hang this you've got to find like all hammocks what your height is what you're comfortable with I like this one a little bit lower because when I'm laid back I don't feel like when I hang in a hammock I have to be an acrobat and hang high I want comfort stepping in and out being able to reach things putting my feet on the ground like this if I scooch myself back just a little bit pull my back up here then I'm able to just bend my legs enough you know I don't need my legs like straight down like a chair As you can see I'm rocking now all I really gotta do is just put my feet down for a second And I'm not rocking. Yeah, so now these straps are going to control the back. So when I want to lay back for sleeping or laying and looking straight up at the sky, I'm going to use those there. Let's just simulate now that I'm ready to lay back flat. What I'll do is drop this back and I'm going to kind of lift my feet and I'm going to loosen up these lower straps that support your legs. And that comes in handy when you're laying flat because right now I can't bend that pad as much with my leg because these pull tight and it kind of forms a little break in the pad where I'm able to do that. Got the ridge line on the hammock right here. I know for me I want it, kind of want my crotchal area under it so that I'm balanced when I lay back. Now when I lay, I like to pull the head end just slightly up a little bit, elevate my head, just a little. Now, side sleeping. Gonna go full stomach. Some of you, that's going to be a really good thing. Practice. I mean, because you're just lollygagging in a hammock. Why not spend some time just goofing off? I do. That's kind of apparent though, isn't it? So you can have gear behind you on your head end and just reach down and access that. Another thing with this, it doesn't all have to be at your foot end in front of you. Up in the corners of the Amok Dramor, you have these nice pockets you can stash stuff in. And on this side right now, it holds the bug net when not deployed, but once the bug net is out, 
and deployed, you have another pocket. They have a little, because everything's thought of, there's a little elastic line here that hooks to the ridge line that you can wrap the bug net off. But you got your zipper pulls right here. So you get a lot of options of where you can do and undo your zipper there. There's a little bag that hangs on the ridge line that has an elastic cord in it with a hook. And you take that and you bring it back and there's a hook behind you here by your head. This I think we must see from inside. There's the little bag right here. And there's the cord with the hook. And that's going to hook right up in that area, right there at the top by my head. And you have a little toggle on here so you can tighten or loosen the cord. So I'm going to hook that right up here. And then just draw it tight. Meow, 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 meow. I'll put that dangly end back up in there. So now that's perfectly up off my head. And if I want to put the bug net down, I just shout. So I'm going to go flat for sleep. And you can still see there's tension on it, but it's well off my face. There's my, and here's the bug net, up off my face in sleeping mode. Really one of the nice things about this hammock too is when you're sitting in it or laying in it, it's nice and wide. You're not constricted, you don't get shoulder squeeze. On the other hand, you have to use a pad for your insulation. People ask about under quilts on these things, there's not one designed for it. Because you want support in this hammock, like right now just sitting here, just sitting up and being comfortable. It's nice, even with my shoes on, which I normally wouldn't wear in the hammock. I can stash my shoes up in those pockets. And once the bug net is out, you have another one over here to put another shoe or whatever you want in there. And this armor light fabric, kind of nice to be able to see through it. You just get a little bit more of a view. I'm going to choose to grab the zipper on this side. Zip it on down around my feet. Bring it on here and flip it back over my head. Freedom! On obstruction for the win! Next question. Oh, how do you wrangle a sleeping bag or a top quilt in here? That's going to take you just a little bit of practice too. Because like I say, when you get out of this thing, and until you really get all your balance points, emotions right and figured out, everything's going to want to slide toward the foot end. In fact, when most people lay in these things for the first time, they tend to be too far forward so their feet go down. So you got to remember, right here on this ridge line, kind of have your belt buckle, basically, right up under that thing. Whatever your body shape is and length, you've got to find your balance point so your feet aren't too far down or your head's not too far down. So you get like this and not like this or not like this. I normally, when I get out and have my sleeping bag, these triangular panels on the side, I'll just tuck it in there. And then when I get out, things stay in. One thing I wanted to mention here is coming up, the hang is the last weekend in April, and it is the first European hang con taking place in Denmark. Yes, the country Denmark. And I am going. They invited me. They're flying me over uh, just to walk around and talk hammocks. They're taking a little bit of care of me. I'm not getting paid to go, but I'm getting my flight paid for, and that made a big difference. 
and uh, I'm going because I've always wanted to see Denmark so hopefully I hope to meet some of you over there I know there's a few people that have already reached out to me so yeah the very first Hancon in Europe woo buddy so this is where your pad goes in you have this little sleeve here pull your pad out like that so the concern with a lot of people is am I gonna be warm enough and I think this pad is rated let's just say 28 degrees I would put it more like 35 40 for my sleeping as I've gotten older but just bring a closed cell foam pad or another pad to put on top or in the sleeve and you can boost your temperatures that way and I would put it inside the sleeve all right I'm gonna try this because that is hard to slip up in that pad but in the corner nice design on this hammock is they leave the corner open so you can get to your valve with the pad that they provide I'm gonna to try to reach my arm down there get that pad yeah that works the whole pad back into the end has these little holders right there and that's a nice way to get yourself to a few lower temps with this uh, kind of rig. Let's take a look at the tarp now. It comes with the little mini beaners that go right on here. So you can run your line out to your ridge line and you can loosen by lifting and pulling that and then pulling it in tight. Makes for a fast tarp pitch. For the person who likes things neat, their lines on the corner have velcro right on there so you can keep your line all nice and neat when you're done stay wild that ain't no problem for me this tarp is designed for this hammock so that your tarp ridge line goes over the tarp in this direction and it has a pointy edge here which you can see is gonna cover your foot really well there is a little bit of concern that people reach out to me and go, am I going to get wet in that thing? And I have a video I'll link down below from several years ago. I sat out here in a storm and I've had it out in the rain camping. And, you know, if you're going to live the tarp life instead of a tent, there's a chance you'll get missed. So here's the tarp stuff sack. And right inside, there's a little place right here with a little Velcro tab where you can keep the stakes it's a nice stake too very light and it comes with six so you can see right there foot end <laughs> actually first time I've noticed that so you just take a little piece of velcro and undo your line for the people that like it neat it is handy Put in covered well. I'll take my trekking pole and put that under that end, which will lift it up for a better view. If you have good weather that day, just hang your tarp high and kind of loosey goosey and, and have your view. But if it starts to rain or you get a lot of wind or you want to be protected at night, pitch it down a little bit. That's just the basic tarp rules. So I've taken my hike a pole here. That seems to be a thing that works. doesn't have to be a hike pole it could be a stick from the woods it could be anything it could be a golf club you find out in the woods because that happens if you just want to throw your tarp back for the day and have it in half tarp mode so one thing when you throw your tarp back normally you know the end it's just thrown back can blow over but with this because you have these little velcro pieces and this this line is going out to something already I can just take the end that I'm throwing back lay it on top of there and velcro that around and do that on all three corners and that's going to keep it from blowing back over on me all right let me give you some final thoughts on this hammock pros and cons but really just thoughts do you need this hammock no do you need a hammock at all no do you want this hammock you might if you're a backpacker or someone that carries their gear in the woods all day 
well then the ultralight is going to appeal to you so much lighter than the old one is it a fun hammock yeah I, I, I like I like a lot of the features of this hammock when you have it out in the woods and you're just doing what I do right now but you're not in your backyard and you're just hanging out watching the world it's very comfortable you have your top quilt pulled up or your blanket or your sleeping bag it's a chilly day you're just sitting in warm I can feel the warmth on the pad right now because this this day is warming up now it's going to take care of shoulder squeeze for a lot of people or want to um, lay on their sides but feel like on a gathered and hammock the materials right in their face this could alleviate that now under quilts out of the equation I'm an under quilt guy but the pad's not bad. I slept in pads most of my life in tents. I have nothing against them. I just really love under quilts in my gathered in hammocks. But you need a pad in this for the structure of the hammock. If it doesn't have a pad in it, it's just fabric hanging here. And it doesn't operate the same way as a gathered in hammock that hangs between the trees this way. The ones you usually see me in. Chair mode, reclining like this and just hanging out is worth having this hammock. Um, stomach sleepers are gonna like it. Yes, the tarp doesn't have doors. Maybe someday they'll add them. That would be a good thing. That would um, solve a lot of problems for people that worry about rain getting in. But I'll tell you this, don't worry about stuff till it happens. You know, I have a little phrase when people ask me, do I worry when I go out for a solo backpacking trip? Do I worry about bears, moose, wolves, you know, things that could get me out there. And I go, well, I like to stay vigilant but I don't hike with worry. Worry will just ruin your trip. It, it's a really fun hammock. If you already have some hammocks and you wanted to add something into your collection, this would be great to have. You may find that this is the hammock for you. The cons would be it takes a little practice getting in and out of. It's quick to set up. You don't need the trees as wide. Uh, the tarp is super simple, goes up really easily. You know, if you're a person that uses tarps and is used to them, You'll, you'll find a tarp as a tarp. If you've never used a tarp, they make this pretty easy for you in the way that it rigs up and, and goes out. Just give them a look if it's something you're interested in. And what it leads to is just hanging out, sitting and staring, taking a nap, sleeping overnight, having an espresso, having a beer, having a glass of wine, just enjoying some time. And in life, we need that. We, we work too much, we're go, 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 we're go, go, go with social media. And sometimes it's like the old days when you go into the espresso bar and you have a nice uh, uh, doppio espresso. Th this is really old school. And you take 10 or 15 minutes and just socialize with some people. And you're not doing work, you're just sipping your espresso, having your smoke. Hey, right, hey, how's it going for you? Good. Maybe you make a connection, maybe you don't. If anything, you just take a break, you get back to work, you're more efficient. You get out of this hammock and when you finally get back to your life, you're going to feel well rested. You're going to feel pretty good about yourself. The buds are coming out on the trees, the grass is starting to sprout. Things are looking good because you got to look at the good things. Take a peek at the bad things, take them in, go, what can I do about it? Make your own decision there. Look for some good things. This emok drama is a good thing. Okay, woo buddy, I'll secure it, sector seven. A simple man like simple Shug. Why you keep saying amok, amok, dramor? Why you? Why don't you just call it good sitting hammock? Oh, the geese are flying too. Yeah, I just wanted to pitch my new terry cloth bucket hat that's in my Teespring store now. Got my logo on it, and I like that I could put a little bit of gold in that instead of just the orange and white. And you can. Nice thing with this hat, you flip it up like that. I'm probably going to put a little Velcro on the side so I can do that. I wear it Aussie star. And, uh, but it's a nice bucket of hat, and those are available now. I've had some people ask, so there you go. I did my pitch. I feel like a real winner. Real shyster. What a shill I am. <laughs>